Hi, G. Alonzi here again. So, I have my first generation iPod Touch here with me, and I recently upgraded it to the 2.1 firmware. And the difference between this and the first generation, or well, one of the differences, is that it came with the App Store. Now, I was just scrolling through the App Store, and I found a few apps that were free that I wanted to take a look at but unfortunately I don't have a credit card so I wasn't able to download it so I was just wondering if there was a way to get into the or get an App Store account without having to have a credit card so what I'm gonna do is find that out for you guys so now I opened up iTunes and I'm, and I'm in the iTunes store and I believe there's something in here for an App Store and oh there it is so I'm gonna click on it and take me to the App Store, and I believe I just have to uh, purchase anything or click on anything. So let me click on Water Slide Extreme. I don't know what it is, but it looks interesting. And it's a free app, so I'm gonna click Get App. It says here, sign in or da to download. Sorry. Uh, so I don't have an account, so I'm gonna create a new one. Gonna click Continue. And access the iTunes Store gonna I think give me terms of service out oh, here is terms and conditions rather and read through it I agree I'm gonna click continue and I'm just gonna pause it right here and I'll be back after I fill this session out now once I click continue it brings me to this provide a payment method page where in the past it required you to have a credit card in order to continue but since I don't have one or since I didn't have one I wasn't able to ever sign up but now since I don't have one I'm just gonna click none and you'll see the page will change there it goes and it gets rid of the whole payment method section and I'm just gonna fill this up this form out again so I'm just gonna pause the video and I'll click continue right after so now I click continue and it says verify your account and it's sent to my hotmail email so I'm just gonna click done and I believe it'll send everything to my Hotmail. Now I'm just gonna check my Hotmail and I'll be right back. So I went into my Hotmail account and they sent me an email which had a link. So I clicked the link and this is what came up. So I'm gonna, I guess, need, I guess the link needs to be open within iTunes. So I'm going to launch it with iTunes and there we go. So I believe I have an iTunes account now I'm just gonna try to sign in and see what happens I guess it didn't work let me try again already forgot my password I guess and uh, there we go it says congratulations my account has been successfully created so now what I'm gonna do is see if it'll work and see if I can install apps on my iPod Touch now. So now I'm back on my iPod Touch and I'm going to see if I can download or rather install the Facebook application. So now there comes the prompt for me to sign in. So I'm just going to sign in. So now I've just entered my email and password and I'm just going to press OK. And there it is it works so that I guess is the way to get an iTunes store account without having a credit card this is Jay Alonzi and I hope you guys enjoyed thank you